Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to a new game this time, Overclocked, A History of Violence. Um, we have a launcher right here for start new game, so as you can see I have new game, uh, resume game, I already tested to see if it runs, it does. Um, we're gonna jump right into it. I have not played this game before except for the two minutes to test how it's going to, if it's going to work on my PC, so let's jump right into it. Blind play for first time, let's go. Oh my god, Nordic games. There is a moment when life extinguishes, just like that. Like the flick of a switch, press of a button, a gate is opened, and only shadows remain. When that point is reached, it's easy, quite easy. When the switch is flicked, when the gate is opened, the unforgivable can be done. Things you never forget. Things you never comprehend. Things you don't wish to dream. And you don't wish to know. Not want to think. a horrible idea for so many reasons. At least take off your shoes before you go to bed. Please. All right. Here we go, New York City. So this is a point and click game. And I guess uh, I'm gonna have to put an epilepsy warning for this intro when I put it on YouTube because, wow, holy flashing lights. Oh, also apparently we're in somewhat of a cutscene because I did not actually touch anything yet. Like, this is not me. I am not actually moving the character. We're apparently still in an in-game cutscene. Okay. There we go. Now we're actually on. Oh, great. I've forgotten my coat. I can unpack those few things later. Yeah, I'm sure you'll survive, dude. Actually, in my wallet. wallet from Kim. Now, if I could only find the picture of her that she had put in it, if she found that out, she'd kill me. Okay. Um, also, kind of inconvenient. You guys obviously cannot see this, but 
my webcam is mounted at the top of my screen so the subtitles being at the top of the screen is not helpful at all it is really not helpful um, uh, I don't know if you played the, mom the moment of silence but this is one of those types of games where if you don't listen to the dialogue you're stuck I don't play this one I didn't play this one but uh, Timo stressed me out a lot because I skipped dialogues oh well, first of all, hi Dracos. Uh, secondly, that's probably not going to be an issue for me because I don't usually skip dialogues. I'm actually the kind of person who likes to uh, listen to all the dialogues and find all the hidden little details. My, my main problem right now is that the subtitles appear at the top of the screen and right here, where the cursor is right now, is where my webcam is mounted. So there's a good chunk of the subtitles that I can't actually see because for some reason they decided to put them up there. Um, Staten Island whatever hospital 11 a.m. something Joe Mochi NYPD okay your handwriting is atrocious my dude <laughs> a telephone with an answering machine I requested it because I need to use the PDA for the sessions You have two messages. Message one. Hello, Dave. This is Moretti from NYPD. I hope that you arrived safe and the hotel's okay. We had another case at five o'clock this morning and just around the corner from you, too. Drive out to Staten Island and we'll meet there. Okay, so detective's name is Moretti. You have two messages. Message two. Who is that? Can I pick anything else up? The pendulum. Okay, let's take that. My pendulum. Real silver. I got it from Terry as a wedding present. Before, I always used to have this thing I bought when I was a student. It cost ten bucks. Made in Hong Kong. Record date, Sunday, November the 11th, 2007, 8 a.m. Today I began my Staten Island examinations early. Objective of the examinations is the reconstruction of recollections. No idea what to expect. That's promising. My new PDA. I couldn't import my old information and the battery is not going to last for two days. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I think that was all of us when we switched from brick phones to smartphones. Congratulations on your purchase of the new cell 72i. Using this handheld device, you can receive email, make voice recordings, and of course, telephone as well. Use the icons on the graphical interface to call up functions and to use them. The most important thing for me is the speech recording function. I record sessions and play them back on it. In group sessions, it sometimes helps patients to listen to recordings being played back. I always used to use an old dictaphone, but that's become impractical now. Oh, I can call my wife. Let's go. Let's see how this marriage is going. Hello? Hi, it's me. So, everything okay? What do you want, David? Nothing. I just wanted to let you know I got here okay. Okay. Anything else? Listen, Kim, can't we... I've got to go. See you later. Wait, <laughs> Kim. Oh, great. Okay, so our marriage is not exactly going well. Um, <laughs> let's call that attorney and see if that's actually our divorce attorney. I would not be surprised.
Ingram. Hi, Terry? Oh, hi. Hi, Dave. This not a good time? No. You got appointments? Um, yeah. Pretty busy right now. Right then. We'll talk tonight, okay? No problem. Uh, catch you later. Okay. I kind of feel like our lawyer just lied to us, but then again, uh... No harm done. It's not like we had anything important to talk about anyway. Uh, let me actually save this before I... Before I do anything outrageously stupid here. Oh, this is my previously saved games. Okay, we're gonna do a new save game. Yes. Yeah, the days when we fought PDAs were the future. Oh my god. I did actually just recently see uh, an interview from some guy who predicted, like, at the end of the 90s, that at one point we were going to have a phone device and it was going to be small enough to fit in our pocket. And it would be a computer and a phone and an address book and an alarm clock at the same time and it would be utterly insufferable. And he was right. <laughs> okay, what are these other options that I have here? Call. Don't have any other options. I have a journal. Record date Sunday, November the eleventh, two thousand seven, eight a.m. Today I began my staff. Ah, uh, this is the one we just recorded. Early. Okay. Objective of the examinations is the reconstruction of recollections. No idea what to expect. I believe this is going to be incredibly important as we go through the story because we will probably have to refer back to messages that we got. Got it. All right, well, that's good enough for now. Uh, let's see where we can actually go. Can I just go back to sleep? Hopefully I can get some sleep in the next few days. If only these goddamn dreams would stop. Have you talked to a therapist? No, I can't sleep yet. Okay, too bad. Uh, there's a letter. It's the demand from Kim's doctor. That quack wants $5,200. And for what? I think it was a mistake having my mail redirected to me here. It's just bills. Okay, so Kim is seeing a doctor for some pretty expensive stuff. Although, I guess, for US prices, that is still pretty harmless. Um, there's nothing else that we can pick up here, is there? Oh, newspaper. Small change, let's take that. Can't look at the TV. Okay. Military coup in Africa. 300,000 more troops for the Middle East. Suicide bomb attack in Israel. Gun rampage and shopping mall. And the same news for 20 years. I've got no time for it anymore. Okay, these controls are freaking me out. All right, let's go. Hotel lobby. Good morning, sir. Morning. Mr. McNamara, right? Yes. Welcome to the Skyline Hotel, Mr. McNamara. I trust you had a pleasant night. I guess. Something not to your satisfaction, sir. Everything all right with you, sir? Uh, uh, what? We are not oh, leaving yeah. the best uh, first impression. Uh, everything's great. It was a short night, you know. I understand. Do you know how long you will be staying with us, sir? How long? Uh, no, not, not yet. Who knows? Maybe I'll never go back. Sir? Oh, forget it. Book me in for a week to start with. I'll let you know when I have more definite plans. Of course, sir. If you need anything, please let me know anytime. 
I wish you a pleasant stay in New York, sir. What kind of hotel is this where they let you stay for an entire night without actually asking you how long you're staying? Like just, oh yeah, we have a room, here's the keys, we talk about the pay and we talk about the price and how long you're staying tomorrow, like what? <laughs> what? I'd like a little bit of information. Where's the nearest ATM? You can pay us here with a credit card, sir. Sure, oh, but just in case, I've uh, lost the last of my cash last night to this cab driver who gave me an unsolicited city tour. Say, do I look like I don't know my way around here? New York cab drivers can be a little, uh, enterprising. Did you fall asleep in the back? That does exactly. sound like something we would do, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. There's a United Bank Trust ATM just outside. It even works from time to time. So they tell me. No, yeah, thanks. Well, that is encouraging. I need to get over to Staten Island. Uh, what's the best way to get there? Take the Staten Island Ferry. The pier's at the southern tip of Manhattan Island. Okay, so, um, so, uh, take the ferry, huh? That's what he said. Well, that sure won't be much fun in this weather. It could be a bit choppy, sir. Uh. Is it, I mean, is that thing safe then? Now, of course, we never had quite such bad weather before. Why are you such a But if whip? the danger was too great, then the ferry wouldn't run. Why, why is our character such a whip? <laughs> yeah. My god, it's just oh. a ferry. I guess I'll hope for the best, huh? Just get on the fucking boat. Terrible weather out there. How long has it been like this, sir? More than a week, sir. The city has had to close Brooklyn Bridge because of storm damage. Hardly anyone dares to go out on the street. And I left my coat at home. It's <laughs> not raining so bad at the moment, sir. If you keep in close to the buildings. Takes a few minutes longer to get soaked to the skin. Perhaps. Maybe you can have something sent on from home. From Mrs. McNamara? Yeah, maybe. Do you happen to have a city map for me? Of course, sir. My okay. pleasure. Thank you. Uh, put it on the room. Certainly. Where can you get a drink around here? Now, sir? No, I've not got to that point just yet. This evening, I mean. Our bar is open until 11 o'clock, and there are quite a few bars in the neighborhood. The Nighthawk is right next door. Mm, recommended? If you're asking me, sir, I'd give it a qualified recommendation. It has a somewhat dubious reputation. Okay. Understood. I get it entirely. We don't get a thing. Okay, thank We're you very much then, Mr. Um, Flynn, sir. Mr. Flynn, I'll see you later. All right. A city map. I don't know my way around too well. Good job I've got it with me. I think I'd rather take the elevator. Wow. You lazy bastard. Okay. So we're gonna keep multiple saves here because I don't know if it's actually possible to lock our way out of something, but just in case, you know. Damn. It's pouring. It's gonna be fine. Not now. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay then. Let's see if we this can find a ferry. Fun. Wow, convenient newspaper is convenient. Uh, 2007 sees a drastic, uh, dramatic increase in violent crime. The deluge of random violent crimes on New York City streets shows no sign of fading. The mayor's office yesterday reported that the number of serious violent incidents in 2007 already surpasses last year's figures. Experts project that the trend may continue with an overall increase of 30% over the 2006 figure. 
Many offenders are apparently minors and young adults. The borough critics cite the easy availability of firearms, lack of parental guidance, and poor state funding for social initiatives as reasons for the alarming statistics. Conservatives argue that inadequate public surveillance, relaxed sentencing, and the glorification of violence on television and in computer games have together contributed to the worsening situation. Oh, this argument again. Okay, cool. Um, A newspaper store. Wow, that was very enlightening. Let's go inside and see. Why? What I've had my fill of bad news. Wow, really? Okay. Like, don't give me the option if you're not gonna let me do anything. Um. Okay then. I guess they open up tonight. Okay. That one way sign is very encouraging. An ATM. No shit. Okay, well, fairy pier, there we go. The fairy doesn't seem to be there. Oh. Maybe I should ask those two there. Didn't realize we were in a cutscene, sorry. <laughs> Are we done now? Yes, we're done now. Okay. Can I talk to this dude? Oh, apparently not. So I can't go over there. And there's nothing over there either. Okay. Okay. Can't talk to her. Can't talk to him. Just casually walking onto the road. I mean, it's not like there's any cars, but still. Due to the poor weather conditions, it's possible there may be delays in the timetable. We apologize. Well, the most important thing is the ferry is still running. If it doesn't, I'm going to be up a creek. I can just take this rope. I'm not gonna drag that around. Wow. <laughs> okay, I was going to say that would be very weird. Okay, let's talk to these two. Morning. You going on the ferry too? Yep. Often? Yep. Often. We uh <laughs> we're not gonna sink then, are we? You can't swim or what? I only want to know if the thing's safe. You ain't from around here, are you? No, easy. Okay, this here is the Staten Island Ferry. If you can swim, it's safe, okay? 
God awful weather, huh? Makes you think even the city's gonna get drowned. <coughs> Unbelievable, this storm. Hey, you know what really pisses me off? Uh, no. Small talk about the weather. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, just leave the man alone. See you later. Morning. Morning. Crossing too? I sure hope so. Yeah. The weather doesn't look so good. It's my first time here. Uh huh. And then in this weather. Listen, mister. It's early in the morning, okay? Oh, I get it, you're not a morning person. Me neither. Excuse me, it's just. Mister, you. Oh. What then? That's okay, I, I just thought. I mistook you for someone else. Very will be here soon. See ya. See you. Okay, what's with that dude? No more cash in there. Good thing I've still got my credit card. Wait, can I can I put my cash in my in my wallet? I can't. Okay. Oh. I'm not gonna drag that around. So can't wrap the rope. Okay. There we go. You're not going to be careful, so... Weren't we supposed to get on a ferry? Ferry building entrance, here we go. This must be it. Ooh, doesn't look too inviting. Wow, that was the most uneventful ferry ride ever. What's written here? Finis? Coro... Finis Corona ten to something? Okay. Weird. Intercom. They sure won't let just anyone in here. Yes. This is David McNamara. Do you have an appointment? Indeed, with Dr. Young. Regarding what? I would very much like to discuss that with Dr. Young. I'm a psychiatrist from DC. Could you open up, please? It's raining. One moment. 